as Mr. Hamilton wrote in Federalist 65. These aren't just niceties. I make no apology for demanding in your name, in the name of the Constitution, that the rights to due process guaranteed under the Constitution are adhered to in a process as serious as this in our national lives. The denial of due process in this case, of course, starts with the House of Representatives. In this unprecedented snap impeachment process, the House of Representatives denied every attribute of fundamental constitutional due process that Americans correctly have come to believe is part of what makes this country so great. How and why did that happen? It is a function of the insatiable lust for impeachment in the House for the past four years. Consider this. I want to say this for Donald Trump, who I may well be voting to impeach. Donald Trump has already done a number of things which legitimately raise the question of impeachment. I don't respect this president, and I will fight every day until he is impeached. That is grounds to start impeachment proceedings. Those are grounds to start impeachment. Those are grounds to start impeachment proceedings. Yes, I think that's grounds to start impeachment proceedings. I rise today, Mr. Speaker, to call for the impeachment of the President of the United States of America. I continue to say, impeach him! Impeach 45! Impeach 45! So we're calling upon the House to begin impeachment hearings immediately on the impeachment Donald Trump. Would you vote yes or no? I would vote yes. I would vote, I would vote to impeach. Because we're gonna go in there, we're gonna impeach the mother uh, But the fact is, I introduced articles of impeachment in July of 2017. We don't impeach this president. He will get reelected. My oath requires me to be for impeachment, have an impeachment hearing, he needs a scarlet eye on his chest. The representatives should begin impeachment proceedings against this president. It is time to bring impeachment charges against him. Bring impeachment charges. My personal view is that uh, he richly deserves impeachment. I'm here at an impeachment rally, and we are ready to impeach the... The relevant timeline in the House reveals the rush to judgment. On the day following the January 6th riot, the House leadership cynically sensed a political opportunity to score points against the outgoing then-President Trump, and the Speaker demanded that Vice President Pence invoke the 25th Amendment, threatening immediate impeachment for the President if Mr. Pence did not comply with this extraordinary and extraordinarily wrong demand. Four days later, on January 11th, 2021, the instant article of impeachment was introduced in the House. Speaker Pelosi then gave Vice, Vice President, the Vice President another ultimatum, threatening to begin impeachment proceedings within 24 hours if he did not comply. Vice President Pence rejected Speaker Pelosi's demand, favoring instead adherence to the Constitution and the best interests of the nation over a politically motivated threat. 